python pass statement so in this video we are going to discuss how to use pass statement in our python coding in python programming pass is a null statement that means it has got no effect in execution the difference between the comment and the pass statement in python is that while the interpreter ignores the comment entirely but the pass is not getting ignored so as the pass is having no effect in the execution output so we might be having a one question is rising in our mind then what is the difference between the comment and the pass statement in case of comment the compiler or the interpreter rather here it will just ignore that block in case of compiler also in case of interpreter also the comment block will be ignored in python also the comment block will be ignored but in case of pass it will the control will come to the pass and the pass statement will be executed but it is a null statement having got no effect in the output however nothing happens when the pass statement is executed it results into no operation that is nop that is a no operation so here you see how to write the pass statement the pass statement should be written all p a s s in the lower case letters so nothing in, is uh, in capital letters so we generally use it as a placeholder so in our nop it is just like your nop that is a no operation type of instructions there so to have the better understanding let us go for one practical demonstration we shall be showing you that in the python code how this pass statement can be used so here is the demonstration for you pass is actually a statement which is being used in our code for placeholder that means in future if i want to add some more functionality at that very uh, region at that very section there you can use this pass statement so sequence we are having one sequence here so here we having p a s and s so there is a pass and for val in the sequence we are just in this particular for construct we are having only one statement that is a pass and pass is not having any will not produce any uh, required output on the screen so as a result of that if i go on executing this code only this end of the program this statement is getting printed after completion of this for construct so here you can find that pass has got no any effect will not produce any effect in the outcome so this statement is only to be used as a placeholder so that in future if i want to add some more functionality in this for construct i can replace pass i can put those required statements there so that is the use of pass in our python coding thanks for watching this video